<clears throat> hey, everybody. Uh, welcome. Uh, super excited. I want to keep you in the loop on everything that's going on to get ready for our program. And for those of you that have not received a Telegram message, welcome from me. I'm doing a ton of those today and tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And I, I can't wait to be in touch with you. Super excited to get started. I want to keep you in the loop and I want to make sure you feel comfortable and I want to make sure you feel all right about everything that we're going to do together. So what I want to do here is a special preview on some of the stuff that we're going to talk about at the beginning of our class. And I want to be really clear about how this is structured so that you feel absolutely at ease about the way this is going to happen and, and that we're going to take good care of you and, and whatever else. So. I've got my uh, iPad here in front of me, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. And what I want to do is walk you through uh, some notes that I've been taking and give you a preview of the type of lessons that we're going to do. And um, all right, well, let's just hop into it. So I've been reading the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. Let me just save this. and. There we go. Then you can see my little face down here at the bottom. And this has been a really big, I don't know, a revelation to me, along with a couple other books that we're going to read together. And what I've started to do is make some notes based on this book and some other books that will form the lessons that will be launched on December 1st. And over the course of the next seven to 10 days, as we arrive at that date, I'm going to try to do as much as I can to get you up to speed and keep you in the loop and inform you about what we're doing and upload stuff for you to look at and get you all organized and, and everything else. Okay. The first thing I, I've been doing and I would recommend that you do as well is I've been thinking a lot about listing out the stuff that I believe, the things that I believe most. And we can go full screen here. I think that's probably a good idea. Um, so I've been thinking a lot about the stuff that I believe, the things that uh, I treasure the most or that I think or that I believe in. Um, and one of those things is that is based on the concept of a trajectory. That um, let's say that you're right here and you're traveling forward in life. And point A, point B. And what most people do is they think about point B. They think about the goal and they obsess about the goal. And what, I'm, what I've always thought, and what I believe more than ever, is that more important than focusing on the goal is focusing on the course, the path that you're on. That's why we call this the path. Because whatever trajectory you are on today, if you continue on this path, you can plot where you'll be later in life. One way that I talk about this is that um, you can tell exactly where you're going to end up in five years or one year if you just simply ask the question, if I continue to do everything that I'm doing now, which is actually the most likely scenario for everybody in the world except for us. Isn't that great? Um, everybody else in the world is moving on a path and they're set on that path. And the, and the most likely scenario is that people will not just continue to move in the same direction that they're going, but as they go, they will, they will actually start to move at a quicker pace. People who are angry and have uncontrollable tempers tend to get angrier over time. People who are lazy and procrastinate and don't get their stuff done, they tend to do more of that and it becomes more extreme. So here's a story. About two months ago, um, I'm sitting in the office can I just be completely blunt with you? I was sitting in the office and I wasn't getting the stuff done that I want or need to get done. And I found myself not just putting things off, but actually not doing the stuff that I need to do. Like failing to come through on stuff and I, and I caught myself and I went home and I talked to my wife and I said, if, I'm, if I move forward at the same 
if I stay on this course, this is not going to be good. My trading's going to be bad. Um, I just went from a $500 account to a $2,000 account almost. That's a fantastic return. And then my big account trading is doing really well. And I can, I can feel all of this starting to like crumble. And I was like, what is happening? Is it the summer? Is it the weather? Is it the fact that my office is 3,000 degrees below zero in the summer because the air conditioner is broken? In any case, I had, to, I had to stop in my tracks. I had to stop because I was veering off course. I had to stop. I had to say in my mind, stop and get myself back on course. And I did. I found myself in a situation I didn't want to be in and I got myself corrected. Um, what I realized about myself is that I buy into enthusiasm, trust, and hope. That I buy into that. And I'm talking about spending money necessarily, although that's, um, that's one of the things. And then I thought about, as it pertains to us working together, I thought about the fact that this is the most important class, the most important work that I will do in the next year. And it's going to have a bigger effect on me and it's going to have a bigger impact on the people that are in this program. So how do I make sure that I deserve your trust, that you, when you place your hope in what we do together, that it's well-founded? How do I make sure that that's the case? Well, I express enthusiasm. First of all, I make sure you know how excited I am about how this has worked for me. So that, first of all, you, I wouldn't be enthusiastic about it if it didn't work. And express such an amount of enthusiasm and do whatever it takes to make sure I earn your trust that by the time you got to that button on the page that got you into this class that you knew you wanted it. That was my goal. To, to make sure your, your hope was well-founded and when placed in me, that you knew you could trust me, that you know you can trust me, to follow through on what I promise, and that I continue to express the enthusiasm and, and share that with you so that we keep going and moving forward. So then we have a brand new trajectory for the next 12 months. And if we stay on that trajectory and we continue to move at a faster and faster pace because we're more and more comfortable and because it has become who we are, which we're going to talk about in a minute, there's no stopping us. It's pretty awesome. Okay, let's, um, so I made a big plan to um, sell this class. It's totally up front, right? Just, pfft, that's what I did. I sold this class. You bought it. I sold it. Um, and now my, my mission here, my obsession, is to just overwhelm you with value. Overwhelm you with keeping my word, making sure that you know what we're doing, making sure that I keep your trust, making sure that you're better than how I found you when we met and you bought this program. And here's how we're going to do it. So I made some goals about um, how many classes I wanted to sell, how many people I wanted in the program and what it would mean to me. And, and if you're ever interested in any of that, we can do some classes on online marketing and all that kind of stuff. It's not a dirty thing. It's uh, <laughs> Maybe it is. I don't really care. I, I'm, I'm happy to sell things for less than they're worth so the maximum number of people say yes. That's, I actually just summed up my entire marketing strategy online. <laughs> It's not exactly what we're, we're all about here. Um, anyway, so I want to I move forward and... Okay, here we go. So here are some things that I've been thinking about. I've been thinking about building a spreadsheet, and I have one, and I'm going to share it with you as part of the class. So I built it in Google Spreadsheets, which is free. Which is all, this course is all about using free tools to get the maximum amount of value. And I was, I decided that I wanted to measure my performance on a scale of 1 to 10 each day, although it's really either a 1 or a 10 on this one, on keeping my word. If I make a promise that I keep it and then I never say anything 
I never make a promise if I know I can't keep it or if I even suspect that I can't keep it. And it, it's interesting, but a lot of successful trading is about keeping your word, showing up when you're supposed to, doing the things that you're supposed to, staying with the system that you promised you were going to stay with, adding to the trades you said you were going to add to, not changing your strategy just because something went wrong, keeping your word. And every other area of my life, keeping my word to my wife, keeping my word to my children, and being very careful about the way I do that. Now, my friend Don, years and years ago, turned me on to the book, um, The Four Agreements. You probably have heard of this book, but we're going to read this together. Okay. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do, and I'm going to do in, in front of everyone, is I'm going to track my money per day. I'm going to track my trading performance every day. And we're going to track that in, my, in a spreadsheet, and we're going to share that with each other, and we're going to make those results uh, public. And we're, and we're going to be just as happy for someone that makes a dollar as we are for someone that makes a thousand dollars. And the reason is, it's almost impossible in this business to make a dollar. Almost nobody ever makes and keeps a dollar. Think about it for a minute. If a thousand traders sign up for trading accounts, 10 of them can make and keep a dollar in the first 90 days. Just a dollar, any amount of money. So it's a victory if you can do that. Then we're going to, I'm going to teach you a system, a systematized way of thinking about life. And we're going to build and focus on three core habits that make all the difference and build that into a system. And we're going to talk about those habits um, as part of this program. So if it's already after December 1st when we launched this, or whatever date it is, it doesn't matter, you will already have access to those lessons. And if you've joined as a charter member, which many of you are that are here, you'll be getting those lessons very soon. And then we're going to focus on one thing from 12 Rules of Life by Jordan Peterson. I didn't love the whole book, but there is one section of this book about posture, and there's one section about, of this book about getting your house in order. And both of those were um, revelations to me. They, they made just a gigantic difference. Okay. Um, so here are some things we're going to focus on. Keeping our word in everything that we do. Not taking things personally. So if I have criticism for you, that we take it. If you have criticism for me, I take it. We stop making assumptions and we always do our best. These are four habits. We're going to cut one out and add one in about either posture or getting our house in order. Okay. Um, these were all business ideas that I had. We can skip through those. I'm not going to hide anything from you, right? I'm just going to be totally open with you about my business, about my trading, about everything. Probably refreshing. I'm guessing that it is. Like I said, we could do some, we could do some classes on marketing uh, later on down the road. So as part of this, um, probably in January, I want to write a book called The Game of Trading. Um, that it's an infinite game. That the goal of the game of trading is to keep playing the game of trading. And that most people fail, and so most people can't trade anymore. But our goal is to keep going and to keep moving forward. And we're going to do some lessons on what makes video games fun and how, people sur how kids survive in video games that they enjoy so they can keep playing and what it means to get better at a video game so they can keep playing. There's a lot we can learn from kids and there's a lot we can learn from the way that, for example, my son plays a game strategically. And he doesn't know it, but it's directly applicable to the things that we do in trading, that we have to gather resources, f find shelter, um, be careful about venturing out. When, when everything is lined up, we go for the kill so to speak. Those are really important things. And then learn from some of the most successful people in that world that practice every day. And we want to learn what it means to practice every day. Okay, so then um, 
then I started going deeper into some other questions that I want to share with you now. I know this is a lot of stuff, but I, I hope you're enjoying it. Um, I, I certainly am just loving all of this focus on what really matters. So I want to ask, so I started to ask this question, and we're going to really go through this in the, in the next lessons that come. We're going to ask this question, who are you? Meaning, in the very front of your brain, like, right? So in the, in the very front of your brain, as you approach the world, and you're, you know, looking through this lens, and then your spouse is in front of you, and you're interacting, and then your kids are in front of you, and you're interacting, and then your trading is in front of you, and you're interacting. You know, ask that question, who are you? Who are you when you're in front of your spouse? What is your identity in front of your spouse? And what is your identity in front of your children? And what is your identity in front of the computer screen? Um, what is it? Who are you in those moments? And then ask what the logical extreme of that identity is. For example, I've always said, and I, and I, don't, think, I don't think it's an unfair statement, but I think it's not productive for me to say it. I've always said I'm a bad manager, so if I hire people, I'm not a very good manager. So the question is, take that to the logical extreme. Say, all right, so you're a bad manager. Uh, take, it to the, take it all the way to the logical, logical extreme. Well, then I can't ever hire anybody, and I can't grow my business, and I can't get any help on the things that are difficult. That's the logical extreme. That's terrible. That's a terrible identity. That's a... It's, it would be better for me to say as my identity. So when I'm working with Jason or Hedermias or others that work with me, say, I'm an improving manager. Now, what's the logical extreme of that? I'm on a trajectory of improvement. Now I can see five years from now that I've got a whole team and that I've gotten better and better over time. I don't have to lie. I don't have to say I'm the best, right? What about people that say, oh, I'm always missing trades? What's the logical extreme of that? If this is your identity, then your behavior will reinforce that. You'll say, oh, I always miss trades. So what the logical extreme of that is, is that you're just going to keep missing trades and you might as well just quit now. You could say in instead, I'm improving at getting my trades. That's a whole different logical extreme. Over time, then, you're going to get better. So I want you to ask the question, um, I want you to ask this question. Next time you're in front of your spouse or in front of your computer doing your trading or in front of your children or wherever else you're interacting with people or things, ask yourself the question, who am I to this person and with this person? What's my, what's my core identity? So with my wife, um, my identity is uh, she's the love of my life. So th if that's my identity, like this is, this is my partner, then that's going to that's going to influence my behaviors. So that's just an example. Um, your behaviors determine your identity. So based on your behavior, what's your identity? So I started to ask myself. And I was in the father department, in the husband department. <laughs> Those, I was doing pretty great. You know, I was doing pretty good. Um, here are some things that you might list out. I was thinking you might list some of these things out when someone asks you that. You might say, "No, I'm not a quitter." That's one really big thing about me. I'm not a quitter. You might say, I'm a timid goal setter, or I, I'm a voider of conflict. I'm fearful of rejection. You might say, when it comes to sexuality or whatever, you know, these things that we don't often talk about, right? I'm not going to hold anything back, so for those of you that think, whatever. I'm not holding anything back. We're going to have honest conversations. You might say, well, I'm fearful of rejection. Or you might say, I'm a determined husband. I'm a producer of income. I'm a habitual shopper. Or... I have a high ambition and drive, or I'm a committed father. So an identity is simply a repeated beingness or a repeated, repeated um, behaviors over time. You might say, um, on a positive side, you might say, I'm a believer in universal energy or fate destiny or believer in God, directed by emotion, second guesser of strategies, changer of tactics, lover of new, inspirer of people, leave people better, genuine love of people. These are all the things I thought that you or I could say about ourselves, potentially. And everybody's different, and I was just brainstorming, right? And so I came up with a list that I thought was true about me, and you might come up with a list that's true about you. 
I'm a creator of income. I'm great at producing income from trades and I'm great at producing income from business. I'm a spreader of enthusiasm. You probably already know that. I think I have a pretty magnetic personality. I like that. I like being attached and with people. Um, I'm a charismatic speaker. I've developed that over time and that makes me super happy. I'm a defier of odds. I've done things that other people say you can't do. I've managed money that people said I couldn't do. I've traded accounts that were small. I've traded accounts back from the brink of margin call all the way back into massive profitability. I made $164,000 in three days and all that kind of stuff. Confident lover of people. I love people. I'm confident in that. I'm confident that if I express that love to you and I'm unashamed of that, that you'll get it and that we'll make a connection and that you'll be better for that and I'll be better for that. And then I also believe I'm a creative professional. Okay. Um, so here's, here's some things I thought about my trading. And you might ask yourself, when it comes to trading, who are you? I thought, well, I'm, I'm a creator of indicators. I'm a creator of systems or ways of using those indicators together. I'm a creator of lessons about those. I do really great at those things. But then when it comes down to making money, I'm a great runner of robots. This is really, I'm really good at that. Um, I'm a one time of day trader. So if I can look at the charts once a day, I'm great. And I'm really good at taking the easy profits. So I want you to ask yourself, and I want you to decide who you are over the course of the next, you know, 24 hours or day or whatever. Decide who you are at home, at work, at trading. Decide who you are. Just list out some stuff, right? You know, brainstorm and list out some things. Decide who you are. Spend some time thinking about that. Who are you? You're a creator of. Um, you're a um, lover of. You are a producer of. In, you know, who are you? What, are your, what does your behavior say about you when it comes to your family, the way you treat yourself, and your trading? Like, what, what does your behavior say about that? And then I want to ask you, so think about your routines that you have, the routines in your, in your life. If you did that routine for 250 days in a row, what kind of person would you be? So let's say, for example, once a day, looking for the big trade. If once a day I looked for the big trade and I took it confidently. So what if I was a confident once a day big trader? I'd probably over 250 days get 100 big trades. What kind of person would I be? I'd be confident about taking big trades. So that's what we're going to do. That's exactly what we're going to do. And what kind of results would that person enjoy that was engaging in that routine? Well, if somebody's focusing on big trades, focusing on it every day for five or 10 minutes, focusing on taking those trades, they're going to get some pretty big trades. The results are going to be pretty big profits. So that's what we're going to do together. Then ask the question, instead of saying what result do I want, ask yourself what kind of, what type of person gets the result that I want. So I thought, to myself, what kind of person gets the trading results that people say that they want? And we're going to close this out on a strong note. Here's that type of person. So I took some examples from the world of successful people, not necessarily in the world of trading. In fact, I specifically avoided people in the world of trading. Took this um, YouTuber Ninja, YouTuber Liza, who's super funny, YouTuber David Dobrik and the YouTuber Casey Neistat. And I took people from YouTube because I wanted to prove that you can take people from other walks of life and it's going to be easier to identify what matters to them. It's so hard to find genuinely successful traders and know them. There are almost none that you can meet. There are almost none that you can know. And most of the people that publish stuff on YouTube with Lamborghinis and all that kind of garbage, they're just liars. So it's unhelpful, it's meaningless. So what I did was I took people from another walk of life where we could see that they were successful, talk about the characteristics that they have, and then come back around and apply that to trading. Here are their 
attributes, committed and competitive, bold, consistent. So bold, consistent, competitive, and committed. These are the characteristics. That's the type of person that gets the results that we want. A bold person, and this is in yellow, so a bold person asks for what he or she wants, expects to be given what he or she asks for, and is not ashamed to ask for what he or she wants. This was a huge revelation. So th this was a big deal to me early on in my trading career that I realized that I didn't feel like I deserved it and could expect. I didn't feel like I could expect it or deserve it. And that, was a, that had a huge influence on whether I would be successful at all. And it, unt only when I realized that I did deserve it and I could expect it was I going to be successful. Huge, de huge deal for me. Um, and to be bold about asking for what I wanted. A lot of people in the market, they're like, I'll take what I can get or I'll do that. You know, what, what, you got to be bold. You have to be bold in every area of your life. You have to be bolder and ask for what you want. Not a jerk, but you have to be bold. You can be funny and bold. You can be honest and bold. And you could start now, just start telling people what you really think in a kind, loving way. But talk to people openly. Ask for what you want. And say, I want this. I need, this is what I want and need. And then learn to negotiate for your own benefit in the way that you would negotiate for one of your children or someone you love dearly. You would be a hard negotiator for that person. And sometimes we're, then we're, we're not bold for ourselves. In order to be the best kind of trader that you want to be, you've got to be bold. Okay. The next one that I looked at was consistent. So one of the big lessons that uh, Casey Neistat talked about when he got to like 2 million subscribers or 5 million subscribers or whatever, he said, the best advice I ever got was that I uploaded a video every day. And so in that respect, he was dependable. This applies directly to trading. You want to be successful at trading? You got to show up every single day. Now I'm going to teach you in this class as part of our journey together, I am going to teach you what it takes to change your life and get on a trajectory where you are the most dependable person in your life of everyone else around you. You are the most consistent and dependable person. What kind of person gets the results that we want? Someone who shows up every day. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, every single day. No excuses, no, I, the cat ran out the door or whatever. All it's gonna take is five or 10 minutes. We're gonna check our systems. They may be automated for you. They may not be automated for you. They may be discretionary or automated. And I'm gonna record a video that shows you me showing up every day and then you can just follow along with what I did. Does that sound all right? I'll be the most dependable person for you and then you turn into the most dependable person for other people. The most consistent and dependable people win at this game. You can't show up occasionally. That's gonna to be tough, but it's gonna be amazing. And I'm gonna show you a, a secret of doing something really difficult once a week and once a month that wakes you up to that ability inside of you to do great things and be consistent. What about competitive? This is a difficult one for me. I'm trying to reach, so in one of my trading accounts, I'm trying to get over the $2,000 mark. And in another account, I'm trying to get over the $70,000 mark. And in another account, I'm trying to get over the $170,000 mark. So I realized that these successful people are very competitive. They do everything in their life to win. They take difficult experiences personally and they train hard for victory. Here's what I mean by that. First of all, if you're competitive and you get a competitive spirit, you wanna be better than me and you wanna be better than others. You wanna be your best self and you don't mind being competitive. If you don't wanna be competitive, be spiritually ambitious or financially ambitious. This is going to be more difficult. So I need you to, to, and I'm going to teach you how to build that fire. I'm going to teach you how to build up that fire. And I remember when I first started trading, I was not, I was not a fired up person. Not at all. I was timid, avoided conflict, ashamed of ambition, didn't feel deserving of success, that's 20 years ago. 
And one of the things that had to change in me is I had to own my ambition and get fired up and do things that would raise the level of competitiveness inside of me so that I wanted to win. And I needed to be able to take some things personally. There's this great um, baseball player that, well, you might hate him if you don't like the Yankees, but back in the day, Paul O'Neill played right field for the New York Yankees during their championship runs in the late 90s. And if he didn't get a hit when he thought he should get a hit, he would go back in the dugout and he'd throw stuff around. And I thought, well, that's childish. And I thought, well, okay, you could mentally throw things around. and You could mentally say, my behavior was unacceptable. My behavior was below what I know I can do. Right? That's what I'm talking about. Okay. And then train hard. Um, Ninja, the YouTuber and Twitch streamer that plays Fortnite, he plays 10 hours a day and practices. 10 hours a day. So I don't think we need to practice 10 hours a day, but I think we need to have a regimen of practice. And I think we need to incorporate that. So that's what a competitive person does. Last of all, consistent and dependable. Or committed, excuse me. Here's what a committed does. Committed person shows up sick or well, shows up rain or shine, and stays on course. This is the hardest one for me. My friend uh, Chuck, who's in this class and who is one of my greatest friends in the world, uh, served in the Marines in Vietnam under the harshest of conditions, under the most difficult of circumstances, and then came home to people who were ungrateful for his service. He showed up, sick or well, rain or shine, in the jungle, under attack, and stayed on course. He adapted, he improvised, and he overcame. I think about him a lot, you know. We've only really met one time. But um, that's the kind of men and women that we want to have in the program. And if you're not that kind of person right now, that's what this program is about. It's about becoming the type of person who shows up who can do those five or ten minutes every day, no matter what. But also, you're that type of person with that five or ten minutes with your spouse, with your children, with your trading. You pick those areas of your life, your spouse and your, your family, yourself and your trading. You pick those three areas of your life and you implement dependability, consistency, boldness. You implement those characteristics. There's nothing that's going to stop you. Now, I didn't say anything about um, trading here. So as we finish off, what about trading? What about trading systems? Or what people like to say, trading strategies. So what we need to have is we need to have, and th this, is, this is how we get to where we want to be. We need to have, instead of focusing on the strategy, we need to have a routine and a method and a system that can be done every day. So what we're going to have is we're going to have two things. We're going to have a robotic method that you can do along with me. And we're going to have a discretionary method that you can do along with me. You can do either of these on stocks and options, of course, and FX. You want to trade anything else? You can do it on ETFs, too. You can trade the robot on stocks and ETFs, or you can trade the stocks as an option. That's discretionary because you can't automate options trading. You can trade the FX system with a robotic system that happens every day and you manage it every day, or you can follow along with the discretionary system every day. Now, of course, I think we can all do 20% to 100% in a year. I think you can do 10, 100, $500 a day. Those are goals, right? Those are goals. But what we're going to do instead of focusing on the goal is we're going to say, what type of person gets this? 
And the answer is all of the stuff we just talked about. So I'm going to teach you the kind of people that we want to be, the program for staying on course with being that type of person. And once we get on that trajectory, remember, that's everything. Once we're on that trajectory, we'll just keep moving faster in that same direction. That type of person, if you then give that person, which I'm going to give you, a system and a strategy for trading, that type of committed, bold, consistent person, dependable person, what's the other one? Consistent, competitive person. That type of person, given a strategy, is going to be, a, is going to be the best trader that you've ever met. And we'll get the things that we just talked about. So instead of focusing on the strategy first, we're going to focus on who we are, and then I'm going to teach you a strategy. Imagine a great trading strategy that works in the hands of the most competitive, bold, consistent, and committed person you know. It gives me chills. Anyway, that's what we're all about. Uh, so if you're in the program, the lessons are coming, whether we're starting just out here or you're coming in a little bit after we started or whatever, the lessons are coming or they're already here. If you're not in the program and somehow you've come across this video, I will have a link somewhere nearby or you just go to robbooker.com and um, this will be my invitation to you. If somehow you stumble across this video, go here and get it. And don't delay. Don't delay on being the type of person that you know you can be. Don't delay on putting it off for another minute. Don't delay getting less out of life than you deserve. Don't delay anything. Remember, there's a, ver there's a version of you five years, 10 years, and 20 years from now. And you're doing what you're doing today for that person. So whatever you do now, you're doing for that person, for the family that you have, or for the people in your life. So don't put it off anymore. This is a perfect time to do this together. This is the only program of its kind anywhere in the world. And I think the value, I think it pays for itself 10 million times over. I love the heck out of you. Can't wait to work together with you. I love you all. We'll see you in the next lessons, everybody. Bye for now.